Hey, we're shaking, homie. So today I'm gonna do a little versus video. I got two 3D printers here that are both just a little under two hundred dollars. They're both Delta style printers. They're very, very similar, but they do have a couple differences. So this is the AnyCubic Cosel, and this is the FL Sun Delta Cosel. So both of these, I'm just comparing the base version, their cheapest version. It's like one hundred and eighty bucks or whatever. I'll put links in the description for all these. Both these printers now have upgraded versions that come with like heated beds and a um, larger power supply. Both of these at the stock version just come with these little like computer style power supply, which is fine for just doing PLA, but it won't have a heated bed, you know, or anything. So first thing we're gonna compare is the build quality of the two machines. So they're both, they both have a pretty nice build quality. Um, neither of them use 3D printed parts really at all. On the FL Sun, every single piece is injection molded. The only 3D printed part on the AnyCubic console is the fan shroud right here. So both of them pretty much use no printed parts. So that is nice about both of them. The delta rods though, on the console, these are carbon fiber and they're definitely nicer than the ones here on the FL Sun. The FL Sun, these are metal rods, but then they're just like glued in right here. Like you can see the glue on the outside of them. And uh, yeah, it just looks a little cheaper. Also too, the hot end assembly on here, it's all plastic. And uh, yeah, but on here, it, it's all metal. Like every everything around here is just one solid metal piece. The nice thing though about the FL Sun though, it has a built-in auto bed level. And thank God, because I could not get the bed level at all when I was trying to calibrate the bed doing the standard Delta calibration in front of face. On the AnyCubic, it was pretty simple. I, I got the hang of it, and then I've never had to level the bed since. This one, it, the auto bed level took a long time for me to get it perfect. It is so sensitive. It takes a lot of tweaking, but it actually works really nice. So that is one thing that this definitely has above that. I, I think it's awesome that it comes stocked with the auto bed level. That is just freaking super cool. Um, wire management, though, on the FL Sun is crazy. Like, like all these wires are just hanging out of the bottom here. And you gotta try to like stuff them under here without the printer being off, like kiltered, and it's totally weird. The wire management is all really nice on here, and the board is underneath the glass. Where here, the board is like off to the side, and you mount it with this plastic piece that I accidentally broke off, and now it's glued back in place, and uh, it's a total mess. But yeah, so I think build quality, I'm gonna have to give the edge to the AnyCubic, being the carbon fiber delta arms, um, the nice wire management. Yeah, in the all metal hot end, it's just it's got a slight build advantage. Also, too, this one it did have a manual on the SD card, you know, but this one had a written manual, like a regular manual book that was really nice, and then it had really good instructions on the SD card too, and just the overall process. Both of them have pretty good customer support. I've dealt with any cubic. I had my i3 Mega, the Ultra Base came messed up, and they sent me a new one right away, and they were very nice and everything. And at all I had a couple questions about this, and I just shot them a couple questions. And within a couple hours, they emailed me back, and they asked me if I had any more questions or anything. So if you have any problems building this, either of these printers, you can message them, and uh, they'll get back to you, and they'll help you out and everything. So both of them went together pretty simple. I mean, it took a while, but both of them went together, you know, pretty simple. Um, the biggest differences I've noticed is they print totally different. Like, I used the exact same PLA. I used this black, I don't know, this cheap, I don't know what this is. It's no-name black PLA. And the prints came out totally different. Not so much better or worse on one or the other. They kind of, the FL Sun was better for some reasons, and the Costle was better for some reasons. Um, I'm going to show you guys the processes of me um, printing them, so you can know which one went on, once, uh, on which. You know, I'm not faking this or anything, so we're going to roll to that. And then, yeah, we'll talk a little bit about, you know, what came out of it. Oh, here's the rocket being printed on the AnyCubic castles. So, when it's done, you know, I'll label it. And, yeah, and then we'll print one on this guy. All right, guys, now here I have with the same PLA and everything, I have a Benchy printing. So, same thing. Once I do a couple test prints on here, I'll use all the same settings. Use the same filament, throw it over here onto the FL Sun. But so far, we got the rocket. It turned out pretty good. And the Benji's going along, so see you in a bit. Alright guys, here I'm printing a low poly 
version of the Thinker. And yeah, same settings and everything. And then just like the other things, we'll print it on the FL Sun and we'll go from there. All right, guys, here I got the Verns Rocket printing on the FL Sun, exact same settings. Here's the one that was printed on the Anycubic. I'll compare them after. Noticing though, it is printing, it's melting the plastic a lot like darker. It's the exact same PLA, exact same temperature. Kind of weird. We'll compare that when we're done, but the finish of the PLA is coming out different. All right, guys, here's the lowest poly thinker on the FL Sun. Here's the one I printed on the Anycubic. Yeah, but I lowered the temperature, and once again, it is coming out different color. Well, not different color, but like uh, darker, more slick, where this one was more matte finish. This one looks more like a glossy finish. Exact same PLA. And uh, yeah, kind of weird, but coming out really good. All right, guys, here's the Benchy printing on the FL Sun. Now, I must say, this one's coming out really good. There's a little over extrusion, but I'm using the exact same settings. That's why I'm not, you know, tweaking it at all. But yeah, it's coming out really nice. So this will be my last comparison print. All right, guys, so let's compare these prints. You already saw me printing them, but here is the Anycubic version of the Verns Rocket, and here is the FL Sun. Now, it's the exact same filament, same temperature, same layer height. I did 0.1618 layer height, 60 millimeters a second. I printed these quite fast because I had a lot to print, and I just wanted to get done with it. But this has, like, this matte finish, and it looks really, really nice. Well, here... It came out like glossy. Also looks pretty nice. There's slight over extrusion, which is more just a setting problem than with the printer. But both of them actually came out really, really nice. It totally boggles my mind that at the same temperature, you know, two printers, that just shows you no two printers are exactly the same. This, I meant to print these at the same size, but I messed up and I printed this one too small. But still you can see, both these actually came out great. This one has a little more stringing on the Anycubic. That could be because it was bigger. It had bigger gaps to fill. But, yeah, both of them. This is the one, this print always has trouble. Camera focus. With the cooling right there. Uh, slightly better on the FL Sun, I'd say. I haven't modified the fan ducts at all. It's totally stock. So, But, yeah, I mean, totally weird. And how this one comes out more of a matte finish, and this one comes out a glossy finish. Now, last, let's look at these benchies. Now, benchy is very common benchmark print. Now, this I can definitely say the F on the any cubic here, same thing. We got more of like a matte finish, and here we got more of a glossy finish. But I can say it definitely came out better on the on the FL Sun. It printed these circles better. You can just see, and uh, at just like the little. Eh, they're pretty similar. I don't know, I think it printed that door nicer. But but I think that's so different how they... The different circuit boards, or whatever, <laughs> make them print different. I don't know, because they both use the exact same hot end assembly and everything, so... I don't know. I wouldn't really say one prints better than the other, but they definitely print different. So you can kind of take that... I'm going to give that a tie, actually. But that's kind of a personal opinion on which style you would like better. The rockets, I think, uh, kind of show it really good. And that's just crazy. All right, guys, so you, you saw those prints. And, yeah, I think a lot of that is opinion on, like, what style you like better. But I find it so weird that I use the exact same filament, the exact same settings, but they came out that different. Because they do both use the same, like, type of hot ends and everything. So totally, totally weird. Um, my overall... I think both these printers are really great for the money. They're probably the cheapest, the best cheap printers you can get. Both of them are DIY kits. You gotta put them together totally yourself. Um, the Anycubic though, I feel like is just a little more, a little more, I don't know. It's just a better experience. Like it comes with a spool holder one. The FL Sun didn't come with a spool holder at all. It comes with a nice manual. The whole overall unboxing experience is better. Also too, there's a glass bed on the Anycubic. Although neither of them come heated on the cheapest models, you're still getting glass to print on, which I prefer I prefer the most. And here I added, after I added the heated bed, I added a piece of, a piece of build tack, which works nice and everything, but I would have preferred to have a nice piece of glass to print on. So I feel like the glass bed, the carbon fiber delta arms, the fact that 
this this has a little more like third party support and although a lot of these use the same interchangeable like you could use a lot of the same upgrades on one or the other that you find on Thingiverse or whatever but the fact that this is all plastic assembly here I feel like this is going to be a lot harder for people to design modifications for the fan shroud things like that but you know, both these printers print great I think if you really want a cheap auto bed level sensor um, this might be the way to go this auto bed level sensor definitely definitely it's not perfect it takes a lot of tuning to get this thing to work good but it is kind of cool to not have to worry about you know the bed or anything but yeah I think these are both great buys I think a little bit is which style you like to printing better if um, you can notice they did yeah definitely printed different neither one better than the other but definitely different so I don't know I think if I had to pick one I'd go with the Anycubic but I really like this one and uh, I'm gonna keep this one I'm gonna keep both these printers um, these aren't gonna be printers that I sell or you know or anything ever I really like these ones so yeah Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you want to see next on my channel, what you want to see me print, other printers you want to see me verse each other. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, until next time, keep on printing, and I'll see you later.